All right, so this video is going to be about uh, changing the clutch on a Corzozo uh, R15 or a Grillo G85 to G110. They're the same machines. Um, ergonomically, they're a little different, but the the uh, the crankcase and, and the clutch are all the, are the same between the two machines. So. Uh, I already went ahead and took off um, the engine and I took apart the clutch. Now the clutch consists of four things. You have, this is the old plate. You have, what did I do with the, oh, there it is. You have the transfer section that transfers from the engine to the machine. You have a little cup just to hold the spring and there's the spring and that goes on like that. Now ignoring that for a moment we're just going to look at the, the spring. Now that bolts down with four bolts and that is fixed. This part here can be compressed in a bit. So it actually separates just like a millimeter, two millimeters from the actual abrasive plate part. And I'll show you what, how that's done. If you look deep inside there, you'll see the spline. That right there, that is what connects just excuse me for a second. I get to that. And that fork, see the two forks, that rests right on, let's get it there, right there. And that's what compresses that spring. This part moves. It can be moved in and out. Whereas the, uh, the abrasive plate doesn't, it stays fixed. And there's a bearing on that. And when, it, when it's compressed a bit, that bearing just allows it to spring, uh, turn freely. And there's no problem. Now, like I said, this is the Corzo. This is a 2017, I had it for six years. About 1500 hours on it. It was starting to creep. And I couldn't adjust that out. So it's time to, to change it. The other indication is it just doesn't work anymore. Uh, a lot of times you do have to change a lot of parts, but uh, in this case, I'm just, I got it early, so I'm just changing the uh, actual abrasive plate, and that should do the trick. Uh, pretty simple, except there's one little caveat that this spring is, you can see it's pretty stiff. And there's a lot of force behind that. So when you're taking this out, just pretend that stuff is in there. When you're taking this out, you reach a point and it can let go and that thing can shoot right across. So you need some kind of C-clamp or another mechanism to hold it in place. I got a couple of these and I just hold it in place and then slowly back that out. And then you can take out the, the you can disassemble it safely. Now I'm going to show you the, the handles. This is a conical clutch. I don't know if I mentioned that. You can see why it's called a conical clutch because it's conical inside, so it's pretty simple. Um, the way it works is by compressing it. And you'll notice that all, of, all the conical clutches are the same. When you squeeze the handle, you're actually deactivating the machine. So now, it, this will be considered park. Now this is actually, if I can get that, and that's in park. So you can walk away from the machine. It's running, it's not going anywhere like this. But that means when this handle is down, the machine can run away on you. So in that case, all these active systems have a dead man or a kill switch. So when that red handle flips up, it actually kills the engine 
it doesn't stop any drive mechanism. It just kills the engine. So it doesn't run away on you. So that's how you tell the difference. Now, if, if you look at my video on the map, it actually has what they call kind of an active system or a multi-plate system. In the case of the map, it's a multi-plate system. Um, and when you squeeze the handle, it actually pushes the plates together and that's what activates the uh, drive mechanism. So it's a little different, um, but this is pretty general for all conical cl uh, clutch systems. They're pretty much the same. They may not be interchangeable, but the principle is all the same. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Um, it is a simple job. It's just take the engine off and then unscrew that and replace the, the clutch part and then put it back together again. Uh, it goes pretty smoothly. Shouldn't be a, a problem. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.